The surface of this balloon, much like our universe, is something which is known as finite but unbound. The balloon has a surface area, which we can calculate, but if you start at a point and draw a line, you can never reach the edge of it. In the same way, our universe has a volume, which we can calculate, but you can never reach the edge of it. If we consider the surface of the balloon to be our three-dimensional space, the red dots as galaxies and the green lines as a coordinate system spread across the entire universe, we see that the galaxies are fixed within that coordinate system. We know that on local scales, galaxies interact under, through gravity and will move about, but on these large scales, they stay approximately fixed. If the universe expands, just like the balloon, we see that although the galaxies or red dots in this case, stay fixed in that coordinate system, the distance between them increases. Not only do two points increase, but every single point on that coordinate system increases with relation to every other. In this analogy, we have to remember that although the surface is 2D, we are actually thinking about 3D space. In this sense, and in this analogy, the outside and the inside of the balloon have no real meaning. It's therefore easy to see that there is no centre to the universe. There is no one point where the Big Bang occurred. The Big Bang occurred everywhere.